Don't name names, journalist who reported on the abuse of a 26-year-old, I've been threatened. Afrovita Heisage, the journalist who broke the news of the sexual abuse of a 26-year-old woman in Vlora, has disclosed details about this distressing incident. In an interview on the Shkaipuria live program on Top Channel, she revealed that she has faced threats. Afrovita Heisage, I am at work, following up on the case of the 26-year-old woman. We are near the hospital, where the young woman arrived today for an examination, five days after the incident took place. Even though, according to the White Coats, forensic experts, results regarding what might have occurred can be obtained within 72 hours. According to the White Coats and the police, this was not requested by the prosecution, and it appears that responsibility is being shifted from one side to the other. After five days, Forensic examinations have no value and it is not expected that any evidence will be found of what we suspect happened to the young woman. The family of the young woman has been threatened, and they have acknowledged this fact. We cannot publish or interview them until a moment when they agree. Just a few moments ago, I was having coffee with the family of the young woman. They have been threatened by the relatives of individuals who are currently in pre-trial detention. I have written that it is not three individuals but four, later, the police also confirmed this. The fourth person did not enter a room with the young woman but was present while the girl was encouraged to use drugs. This situation, the involvement of a fourth person, has led to a flurry of phone calls and messages, not just towards me. I did not want this case to receive such publicity because I'm not alone in this, some of my colleagues have also received threats. However, what has happened in my case occurred on the 23rd, and I did not take it seriously. I remained calm. Don't name names, don't get involved with the rape story, were some of the threats. Personally, I have seen moments when the young woman was taken and carried from the bar to the room in an unconscious state, and she was almost in the arms of the boys involved in this case. Such a situation couldn't be ignored. Threats have also been directed at other journalists, not just me.